Hello students, in this section we are going to say the fifth unit, the topic is microprocessor, that is the pin diagram of microprocessor. Before going to discuss the microprocessor, uh, we will see what is the microprocessor and where the microprocessor is used and we will see some samples or examples of uh, microprocessor devices we are used in daily life. First of all, we discuss microprocessor is the central unit of a computer system that perform arithmetic and logic operations, which generally includes adding, subtracting, transforming in numbers from one area to another and comparing two numbers. It's often known as simple as a processor. A central processing unit or as a logic chip it's a essential the engine or the brain of the computer that goes into motion when the computer is switched on. It's a programmable multi-purpose device that in, incorporate the functions of a CPU, central processing unit, and yes, IC, integrated circuit unit. Another definition we have a microprocessor is a hardware component of a computer and it work as a brain of a computer system as well as used in the computer because without using microprocessor computer like a small box. Microprocessor shape as a small chip that is made by a silicon and it is to resp responsible to the all function of the central processing unit. We have a uh, many daily life uh, uh, situations so we are using microprocessor see the definitions the programmable thermostat allows the control of the temperature at the home in this system a microprocessor work with the temperature sensor to determine and adjust the temperature accordingly high-end coffee maker so those are the devices we they are used a small microprocessor not a, a very uh, main, main, uh, main, uh, very costliest microprocessor it is just a simple microprocessor used so that the function will be carried out for example you see high-end coffee maker washing machine and radio uh, clock contain microprocessor technology some other home item that is contain microprocessor are micro ovens toaster television vcr dvd player oven stove cloth washer stove system stereo system, my home computer, alarm clock, hand held game devices, thermostat, video game system, bread machines, dishwasher, home lighting system, even some refrigerator with the digital temperature control. Those devices we are using the micro processor, but mostly the micro processor is completely using in a computer. So this is your microprocessor. This is your general motherboard of your latest devices in your computer. This is a computer. This is a chip we call as a processor or a microprocessor that will control your whole computer or whole devices. Microprocessor will control input output device, output device, memory control, and uh, arithmetic and logic units and control unit see the definition and examples what the microprocessor will control the microprocessor based system microcomputer consists of microprocessor cpu semiconductor memory like a program a input devices output devices and interfacing devices the work done internal to the processor or additional subtraction logical operation data transfer operation etc so this is a general idea of your computer whereas the microprocessor is integrated. See, this is your microprocessor, the brain of a computer that have a address buses, data buses. Okay, we have a memories and input output devices and some central processing. This is a general layout of the diagram of your computer. So the microprocessor is interfaced all the devices. In other words, the CPU, the central processor use or control the whole devices. Let us see the history of your microprocessor. Here we spread the light on brief history of the microprocessor. First microprocessor was developed by the Intel 
in 1971 and it is name was intel 404 intel 404 is based on the 4 4 bit processor due to this it was not more popular intel 404 was able to perform only addition subtraction operation on 4 bit at once intel was announced new intel 8085 in 1974 for a personal computer it is based on 8 bit processor first of all the uh, 8085 is introduced by the intel company in 1974 see the other uh, the operation the, the other version of your intel processor that is 8085 again it is uh, further it is uh, uh, enhanced the features and the drawbacks are uh, um, uh, um, reduced and the future are invented and no feature is added in 808, uh, 8080 and 8085 you have 8086 so this is a 16-bit microprocessor so likewise uh, when the uh, time is going um, time is uh, going on new new uh, processor is invented so this is your series of yeah uh, processor microprocessor uh, in uh, 19 in 1990 the pentium 1 pentium 2 pentium 3 we know those all those things the intel processor will the intel uh, company will introduce and now we have a dual core uh, dual core to do and many others processor is nowadays we'll see in live daily life so this is the history of your microprocessor so this is a general diagram or the general uh, yeah, table that will uh, give your processor and the data uh, in years where the invent processor invented and the what are the size of the database and what is the clock speed and microseconds and transistor what are the transistor are used introduce date and we have a many many size of the database size of the data that is 68 bit the first intel in 1974, the Intel 8085 is introduced. After this, many processor is discussed. Now, in this class, in your unit, we are going to see only the pin diagram of 8085. These were main processor or 8085. We have a 40 pins and we will see one by one each and every pin have a unique functions. And we have a, a many other uh, uh, functions so that uh, we call this we call as a pro, I mean uh, chip that is a Intel 8085 chip and it is integrated in the motherboard simply this chip will control address means we have to send some address so we have to send some data we have to write read operation write operation then we have to reset set and hold and uh, hold a client acknowledge so whenever the processor wants to uh, write something we use hold and hold acknowledge and we want to have uh, some problem we can just sit uh, reset or reset in and reset out that uh, then we have a interrupt some input device a printer want to write something we have to use interrupts so many uh, 40 pins are there we will see one by one discuss in the next video we will see carefully i will discuss one by one what is the use of the all bits or pins so that you can know the uh, features are, are very detailedly the 805 intel processor